in the mornings when she wakes up and I hear her little footsteps in the morning. It just, it makes me so happy. I don't know, it fills my heart. She's running and uh, saying agua, agua, agua for milk. She calls every liquid agua. I was 11 years old when I found out I was going to be a big sister. I was excited, but also nervous. I didn't have a lot of experience helping care for a baby. I picked out new clothes for her in a special plushie. But we weren't prepared for the challenges that awaited when my sister Eleanor was born. It's been a long journey. At barely 10 hours old, she took her first helicopter ride. Fun for some, but this was a life-threatening emergency for Eleanor and she was headed for children's health in Dallas. My baby sister had something called dextrocardia, which wasn't detected while my mom was pregnant with her. It meant Eleanor's heart was on the wrong side of her body. I was worried, but trusting her care team at children's health. It was a child, like I, like, I was like, no, they're not, this is not true. And then they took her to do the newborn assessment. They catch everything. The nurse comes back and she's like, well, she's intubated. At this point, she was already intubated. She's in the ICU, and the doctor wants to speak to you. She was crying all the I, time. Like, yes, I cried all the time. She it was, was probably like, the most difficult thing in my life because you had this brand new baby, and you can't hold that baby. They're like, okay, we have to have surgery yet. At four days old, Eleanor received a stent to open a bowel. It helped, but then it got real. Because for more than five months, we lived at Children's Health and the Ronald McDonald House before her life-saving operation. They bring it back to the room, and there with us, she was, her, her chest was open, like completely open for treatment. And it, that was difficult to see. And then it was such a relief, but we were also now, okay, we, we, we jumped the first hoop. Surgery is out. She did good on the surgery. Now, how is her body gonna handle the new things? I'm so proud of Eleanor and how far she has come. She's always laughing, always playing, always babbling, in English and Spanish. She's running everywhere. And like a lot of little sisters, getting into all my things. We love each other so much. To the donors out there, every donation that they give, it goes ex exactly to the kid. You know, donate into a building, you don donate into a life. Every day at Children's Health, Doctors, nurses, and everyone who works there offer life-saving care to kids like my little sister Eleanor with the help of donors like you. Gracias.